Uh, welcome to the official podcast, ladies and gentlemen. It's Charlie, Jackson, Kaya, Andrew, and repeat guests back by popular demand, Sean, also known as Jacksepticeye on the YouTube space. Popular demand. No one wanted this. <laughs> Except you. <laughs> I was going to mention, Jack, yeah. a, a little fun fact. Sean was a bit disappointed with his performance in this Thunderdome last time, so now he's back to prove his worth to all of you, and he'll earn a shout-out at the end of the episode if he performs well. <laughs> so, yeah. so, Jack, the, from what I understand, you're a huge fan, right? Is, is that I correct? am. Massive okay. fan. So you were in the supermarket, you bought a chocolate bar, and you found this golden ticket, and it said, the official podcast guest seat. And now here you are. <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, it actually, it actually read like we got no one else, so come <laughs> come around if you want. It was it was a golden ticket information at the bottom. It said, "Please, <laughs> <laughs> please, for the love of God, please." E three is over. Frigid. We have nothing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, Christ. We didn't even have anything to talk about during E <laughs> three. Well, that says a lot about E three, doesn't it? Oh my God! Yeah. Ugh. So then, Sean, on that topic, what can you just a quick round off so we don't dive down that rabbit hole again? What were some things you hated or really liked for me three? Well, everything was super boring this time. Yep. Well, d- oh, no, don't say that, Sean. Now you're an evil contrarian. Yeah. Now, Sean, be careful. You're not allowed to have an opinion, but please continue. <laughs> I know. I said that Spider Man was slightly disappointing in its showing, and everyone, everyone oh, was no. freaking the fuck God. out at me. You mean you, you hate qu- you hate quick time events and scripted oh action God. sequences? What's I'm, wrong with you? I know. God forbid. I want some web swinging through the city, but no. Oh Jesus! Was just oh my down God! My don't ass. even bring that up. Charlie wants that too. Web swinging. Web swinging. Oh. Okay, what? wait. No, fuck off. When does Spider Man ever web swing? What are you talking That's not his about? Power. Oh my God! Seriously. I know. Right. His power is pressing his power- buttons. I was gonna say that. Fuck. <laughs> His superpower is to be a, a teenage idiot. His superpower <laughs> is to sell millions of video games, no matter how bad they are. Jackson, take this out. We can't have this opinion on here. This is a little okay. too much. Q five threads on our subreddit. About I feel how like I've opened we a are. wound from the last episode. God. Whatever. Why not a lot of opinions? Kyle, can I ask you a uh, personal question? I love personal questions, especially from you. Okay. Are you personally, and you know, don't let anyone else know, but are you hiring? And uh, follow up, do you know the best place to post that job that you're hiring for? I am currently hiring for some very uh, delicate jobs, but I cannot disclose the nature of those. But yes, I do know where to hire all the good people, and it's ziprecruiter.com slash official. Do you know about ZipRecruiter? Well, um, I've been told from some secret sources that ZipRecruiter... It's a place where you can post your job to 100 plus job sites with one click and then their own te- powerful technology. They developed it for years in a lab, Kaya. Years. Years. I heard it's it was originally DARPA technology. Not days, not weeks, but years will match the right people and the most qualified people to your job instantly and better than anyone else. So this isn't just for professional, awesome, amazing, glistening God podcasters like us. If you have a job idea, like maybe you have an app idea, a video game idea, and you want to hire a freelancer, you can go to ziprecruiter.com slash official, and you could post a job for free for our listeners, ziprecruiter.com slash official, and you can get the best uh, applicants for it. They apply to you. You don't even have to go out, look for them. You don't have to trawl through pages upon pages of thousands of applicants the best ones will just be recommended to you if you need a programmer maybe an artist a musician sound designer whatever it may be maybe you just need a writer maybe you just need a crew for your uh e3 setup and you can go there and then hire them now so you'll be ready next year for your e3 setup exactly and over 80 percent of the jobs posted on ZipRecruiter get a qualified response within the first 24 hours so you don't have to wait long you get nice some analytics you see how many people viewed your uh job uh, offer how many people viewed your application maybe you know people a lot of people our age millennials and such if you're right out of high school or college and you're looking for jobs you can also post your jobs on the uh, recruiter the and, entire uh, point the entire point guys and kai i'm gonna i'm gonna sum this up in a nice sweet little package like zip recruiter will do for your job find out Today, and I mean today, or tomorrow, but probably today, why businesses of all sizes, from one to a billion people, 
will find the most qualified job candidates at ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter.com slash official. <clears throat> Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. So, Sean, what made you crave this <laughs> podcast back? What podcast have you been on since? None. I, it oh, was thank God. like I couldn't go on any other podcast after I was on the last episode. He's loyal. It was so good it ruined me. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, exclusive that's how, exclusivity yeah. deal gets him every yeah. time. I just wanted more of that big moist. <laughs> oh, he, he uh, knows. He knows what we got over here. There's gonna be a lot of condensation today, my friend. Don't worry. <laughs> I wanted more of Kaya's uh, condescension. Ah, you missed he knows he's so well. he? Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what uh what episode number you were because you know we have all these big tests. Thirteen. Tests. All right. Eleven. <laughs> Jack- Jackson remembers the little people. <laughs> Jackson's got his timestamp card out. Jackson's the-, the guy in CSI. You go. I need you to look up this perp, and he's like on it. <laughs> Arrested in 2014. <laughs> I was mashing my keyboard as hard as I could. <laughs> Commitment. But yeah, your, your episode number was apparently the catalyst for people thinking I'm sort of a bully to our guests. <laughs> but you but I yeah. think you had a good time. You were. You were an asshole to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I was going to be nice to you this time around, but I think I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to have to whip out the bad cop here. You're, you're, in for a, you're in for a doozy with one bad cop and three nice ones now. So, Jack, <laughs> I saw you remember... Well, I heard... I, I remember uh, you said you, you, you know, you mentioned the board burger thing, but since you are back on this podcast and supposedly our biggest fan, I want you to do the joke. Ooh. You can okay. see this as a test. So, oh, there's this place I was driving down with my girlfriend, right? I don't know, fucking I-105 or something. It was so oh, so no, oh, no, 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 sorry. Got to start over. Try again. Um, okay, um, so I'm this, like, big-dicked, uh, really handsome dude just driving down the street, and I He's was like, it. hey, I, 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 it's like, I'm fucking craving some food, yo, dog. Um, <laughs> Sounds just like me. So, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you saw a guy with a huge dick and went, boy, I'm hungry. <laughs> no, yeah, no, he, it was my yeah. dick. I yeah, looked down, okay, I was like, okay, damn. Okay. You sound just I, like Jesse been- Pinkman, too. <laughs> <laughs> I want some so food, like, yo. Yo, bitch, Yo, where the bitch. food at? And oh, then that's Badger. I, I, <laughs> I saw this place, and they were like, come on in, uh, two for one special on board burgers. So I was like, board burgers? <laughs> what, what are those? And then... I, I forget <laughs> Jesus, the Sean, joke. you're like the Hollywood reboot of Charlie's joke. <laughs> <laughs> your, your intention is there, but boy, are you missing almost all of it. <laughs> Well, I had to compensate with something. <laughs> Where's the female main character? Why is it so um, Charlie? Uh, Tara Reed. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> He's right on the money with that one. <laughs> Gal Gadot. Mm-hmm. She goes to Bob Burger, then what? You can't afford Gal Gadot in your joke. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, not even in my dreams, I guess. <laughs> did you just... After episode 13, did you just stew in your room like, Oh, they made fun of me. I'm going to come back and roast them. <laughs> right? All these jokes. They're going to no, Kaya back. No. He's carving into back. his arm with a fucking knife. Bored burgers. <laughs> Bored burgers. <laughs> throwing knives at the wall with our portraits Just a picture on. of Kaya and it's just like throwing darts at it. <laughs> Coming on it from long range. <laughs> I'll show you a Miss- cougar poster. Sean, how many times have you thought about my cougar poster? Because Alex was on... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I hate everything, and apparently he was just enthralled by my poster. Is it a good poster? Oh, does he not know? He doesn't He's know. He's out of the loop. You didn't tell him about the cheetah poster. That was a uh, we we took a episode off for that one, focused more on our core, which was wieners. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> How do you not the know process. the poster? It's like on Sean on on our Patreon for fifty thousand dollars. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> What, do you think it was something worthwhile? Well, it's only 50,000. No, well, yeah. Part of me wondered and part of me hoped it would be something like this, so you didn't disappoint. Yeah, that's, oh, that's no, a- it doesn't disappoint. I'll send you some photos later if you if you want to buy it, maybe as a collector's item. <laughs> For his new house over the uh, that's fireplace. Ca- <laughs> that's going to be worth a lot once I'm bigger than Michael Jackson. And if nothing <laughs> else, it's great for cloning. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh god. You could feed that thing into a Xerox machine and Kaya would come out. <laughs> oh no. There's so much Kaya data in there, you could literally pop that into just about anything and get a Kaya out of it. You, you could write an Apple II just by putting it in a plastic box. <laughs> an alien face sucker could probably face suck that poster. <laughs> <Pregnant. Yeah. laughs> Oh, man. So, Sean, you you seem super uh, hamped and super hyped to come back on. I'm I'm sensing this, and I could be wrong. You came with a story to tell us, didn't you? Um, I I just told you it was board burgers. <laughs> oh, no, fuck! All right, never mind. You, you <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> I legitimately think he's just here for vengeance. <laughs> that's all. That's all it is. That's that's why I blew you off last week. I had to just <laughs> once I knew I was coming back on, I was just like carving out in stone tablets what I was going to say. <laughs> you didn't tablets. have all the bullets. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't have a sheet of paper. Fuck no! You think we have sheets of paper over here? Fair enough. I forgot that Ireland is in the middle of the Stone Revolution. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I, I, I'm in. I'm in the UK now. I'm a. I'm a fucking. Dirty treasonous bastard now. For Wait, you're here. in the UK? Yeah. I thought you would move to the US. God, no. Yeah, My information already do is all that. wrong. I've got the wrong fact sheet, guys. Sorry. Come on, <laughs> Wikipedia, dude. Don't you remember from last time? Yeah, Doxum. Jesus. Sick the hound on it. Andrew, is he telling the truth? Is that where he moved? What's his address? Oh, jeez. Uh, let me look. Let me crunch. Numbers. Andrew didn't even know his own age last time. Uh, <laughs> checks out. Wikipedia says it's uh, true. <laughs> Alright. He's telling the truth, boys. <laughs> <laughs> really see aside that one, Magoo. Well, also, according to my uh my intrepid research, uh the green eyeball on your channels and paraphernalia is called Septic Eye Sam. Holy fuck. Right? <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Fucking God Exclusive him. to the official podcast. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Tell your friends. Wow. That's amazing. So which uh, Ember's Ghost Squad uh, OC is that? <laughs> Alright, he That's seems to I have thought. disconnected. <laughs> Alright, that flew over your head. You were not as prepared as you should have been. <laughs> no, I, I know, I just didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, caught you off guard. You flat-footed galoot. He, he got him. <laughs> <laughs> got him! It's a battle between two goliaths. Scary. So anyway, Jacksepticeye, you must have your, you know, you must have a lot of uh, connections on YouTube. Did you know Austin Jones? Was um, he a good friend? Th thankfully, no. <laughs> I did not spread my butthole for Austin Jones. <laughs> if that's what I did not. I did not go see Austin Jones. Can you make that your official witness testimony, uh, Your Honor? I um, <clears throat> I, I did, did not, not pull not a spread, I did not spread my asshole. For Austin Jones, <laughs> I mean, thank I you. Did, I did not make it clear. Andrew, Andrew, I, I was say way that too old for Austin Jones. Do you ever but. think, this is an honest question, do you think that maybe when he was getting those girls to do those horrible acts, you know how he wanted them to scream like, this booty's 14, I'm 14? Do you mm -hmm. ever think if he thought ahead and while they were filming it, he made them say, I'm 18, this booty's 18, he'd be off the hook? Yeah, yeah, no, I was going to say, first of all, backstory for anyone who might not know, Austin Jones, you... Is he in jail now? Is he still a YouTuber? Hopefully. No, he's, he's, on, he's on bail. He's on bail. Okay, well, alright. So then, still YouTuber and degenerates, which I know, redundant, but... <laughs> this YouTuber apparently used his fame to solicit nudes from 14-year-olds almost exclusively. So what he would do is ask them their age, and if they were anything above 14, he'd basically just block them, apparently. But if they were 14, he'd pressure and bully and just manipulate them into sending him, him their nudes, but... He had a fetish for t them twerking and mentioning their names. So you, he would say shit like, yeah, send me a video of you twerking and say, I'm 14, three times in the video. And then the girl would say like, yeah, I'm 14. This ass is 14 years old. That's right, 14. Yeah, this ass is 14. Your fucking 14-year-old like, girl impression sounds like a shady dealer in a children's cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm 14, and I'll make all your dreams come true. <laughs> that, yeah, sounds like he's kidnapping them to some sort of a fun Find place. Find my magic lamp, and I'll twerk for you. <laughs> but no, he he would 
he would give them instructions on how to twerk, but they wouldn't <sighs> get it. So we, he would have to film instructional videos. Yeah, wasn't there of like a video of him doing it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's several. There's several that they recovered of him. Jackson, put it on screen. Let's land base this. Yeah. Oh, ja- Jackson, put it on. Up there. Jackson, put the evidence on screen. Let the yeah. viewers at home decide. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is exhibit the, A. The jury. Does that, I mean, I feel like reading the chat logs, but point is, yeah, he would send instructional videos of himself twerking to these girls as an example of how they should be ter- uh, twerking. And Andrew, like, just as you said, this guy kind of fucked himself because usually when criminals do this kind of shit, they try to make sure that they, you know, they don't get caught. Cover all tracks. And that yeah. there's no evidence of their crimes. Yeah. And this guy <laughs> almost went the opposite route. This is like if he went to a drug dealer and went like, yeah, all right, now look in this camera and say, I'm selling you pot. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. This is pot. That's right. Yeah, I'm selling you pot and super illegal. Yeah, maybe some fucking LSD too. Yeah. And then show me a butthole. Uh, <laughs> show me your butthole. Yeah, that was and the I, creepiest thing. He said, you're not a yeah. real fan unless you show me your oh, butthole. Man. It's really <laughs> hard to get to me. <laughs> it's really fucked up, dude. It's you're really fucking real hard to like disturb me with shit on the internet because I've seen so much and become so jaded. But as I was reading the court logs, it it, it started to really upset me. And it, it's he, not even half of it. Oh. There's victim A and then there's victim B. Yeah. And hang on. You can read the full case filings against Austin Jones. Yes, please. He he was really <laughs> demanding about it too. Did you notice that he'd like get really just creepy oh, on it and incessant. Super offended. Yeah. He'd be all like, can you show me your butthole? And then like she'd be like, here's my butthole. And he'd be okay, like, no, show it closer. No, do it again. Yeah, no, and he more. said it, it, he said it would be super funny it, if they if you showed her her butthole. <laughs> just for laughs. <laughs> we, we'll all laugh about it. Wouldn't it be super <laughs> wicked funny if you just clapped your asshole at me? Oh my god, just can imagine. You, can you imagine in ten years when we'll look back and say, Hey, remember when I wanted to fuck you as a child? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Was, America's oh, best home videos. What a creepy man. <laughs> creepy Very. man with a creepy plan. There it is. Victor May and Jones. Jones, in your honest opinion, do you think your butt is good enough to give guys boners? Victim A. <laughs> yeah, I have given guys boners with it many times. Jones, it hasn't given me a boner yet. That's why I'm <laughs> concerned. Yeah, because I'm a it. fucked up piece of shit. That's why. <laughs> that Jones. Like a- <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Jones, I guess try harder! Exclamation mark. <laughs> Add more lines while you bounce if you think that will help. Like the May. It's somehow how I about I try no underwear, I won't show anything. You can try that. Let's see. I'm not more. sure about you personifying these people so well. <laughs> it's scary. Uh, We've done I mean, many, we've read many a chat log from Good Games Greg and, and the like. Yeah, that's what this whole oh, thing yeah. is reminding me of is Good Games Greg. Well, no, Good Games Greg is just far more sad. <laughs> no. His was, can you just please yeah, wife me up? Far more harmless. I mean, that guy <laughs> just solicited anything. nudes from one woman and he didn't even get anything. Yeah, he wasn't he, successful. He basically told him to fuck off. <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't this, this, I don't know, this played well. I and mean, mm-hmm. this guy knew his tricks. No, Jones, okay, go make it clap super loud and talk about your age the whole time. Got it? <laughs> clap it super loud yeah. and say these lines. I'm only 14. Yeah, only 14 years old. This ass is only 14 years old. <laughs> he did it in like the most incriminating way yeah. possible. It's like, yeah. make sure we know how old you are. Here's a video of me instructing you. <laughs> <laughs> he did everything to get caught. Yeah, he might as well basically. just went to the police himself. Yeah, now shove my driver's license in your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is my social security number. Say it loud. Now call my mom and tell her I'm bad. <laughs> this is my blood type. Do a line to rob a bank while you're at it. <laughs> All right, here. Jones, wait, you're 14. Yeah, I'm a youngster. Uh, Victim B's first name. Do you realize how lucky you are? I seriously shouldn't even be talking to you. Victim B. Oh. No shit. Because you're so young. You're young too, though. I'm 23. He's got a po- I like that too, how he points out, yeah, I'm actually too old for you, bitch. <laughs> 23 is old now. Well, yeah, 23 for 14 is year olds. old. I'm sorry, I, I think anyone feel old. is too old for 14. <laughs> yeah, unless you're 14 yourself. Yeah. I mean, this guy kind of looked like a grown man in a 14 year old's body, kind of. <laughs> maybe, didn't maybe it. Wouldn't he look like a 14 year old then? Maybe. What? No. Oh, maybe in Japan. The age is 13 there. What, Isn't the wait, age really? in like India nine if you marry them first? Do they have uh, it? So gross. Do they even have an age? That's yeah. fucked up. 
Uh, yes, but that's the same in many countries. What is the no, legal no. age for butthole consent? Uh, that's actually different <clears throat> in certain areas, Charlie. Is it really? State, state yeah. dependent. Um, oh, God. I think what I, I yeah, he's right. I think there's one state. I want to say Texas or some shit <laughs> where like you can have vaginal sex or normal sex at 16, but anal you have to be 18. Oh, that's the same over it here. It is in their fucking charter. I'm serious. <laughs> what interesting legislation. How old do you have to be to clap it, though? <laughs> it depends oh, no. on if you're Jones. screaming your age while you do it or not. <laughs> it's all up to Twitch's guidelines. Bend over halfway. Doesn't have to be all the way. Put your left hand on your left butt cheek, and then your right hand on your left r r on your right butt <laughs> cheek, and then clap them together repeatedly. Got it? Instead of clapping them, how about you just spread your cheeks for ten seconds? Then would that be easier? This doesn't even your wedgie sound has hot. to be good enough so that when you spread your cheeks, it shows the edges of your butthole. Oh my god, that would be so funny. Did your butthole show? <laughs> this doesn't even sound arousing. This sounds like dumb shit I do in the shower. <laughs> no, it sounds like two little children like exploring their bodies in the kindergarten. Like, oh, you have a butthole too? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I made friends in kindergarten. Yeah, that, that didn't happen <laughs> to me. <laughs> Whoa, you have a butthole too? Let's go play Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but man. But man. <laughs> if you really are my biggest fan, you would do it. You're. You're God. doing so good. I need my biggest fan to be confident. It'll be so funny if you do it without them. Like, as soon as you spread them, oh my God, we'll both laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to help so you so much. Creepy. This is so <laughs> fucked up. I oh. have to see your butthole to know for sure that you care 100%. <laughs> <laughs> what's, he, what's he expecting to find down there? This is, uh, this is legitimately <laughs> the most like a little, fucked up thing I've heard in a long time. A little tad over his face or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> do you trust me? Do you trust me? Then show me your butthole. I bet you had no idea when you met me that just one day later you'd get to show me your butthole. How special do you feel? <laughs> oh, oh, what a fucking cunt. What a creep. It's like a Patreon reward. We should have this like 500 bucks you get to show us your butthole. <laughs> So what I'm hearing is next week's that. guest is Austin Jones. Yeah. Oh, I wish. <laughs> he is welcome. Come on to defend yourself, Austin. He and by I'm that, sure I that mean <laughs> his lawyer is welcome to come on and defend him. Yeah, I'm sure there's two sides to the story. I'm, I, I'd be, it, it would be amazing to hear yours. Let's see how you and explain hear this clap. one. Yeah. Is there We're, any way yeah. you can show your butthole and get it closer to the camera? <laughs> and <laughs> this gem, do you know how to flex your butthole? Okay, lol, and no, try it. Squeeze your butthole and then unsqueeze it and repeat it a bunch. What? What does that mean? I, it's from a Bowflex the, commercial. Flex That's I'm doing stuff. it right now. Kegels? No, flexing, flexing your butthole, like when you pinch out that little turd at the end of a <laughs> shitting session. That's what flexing it is. Oh, right, yeah. Do I have to send you an instructional video, yeah, please. Show me close up. <laughs> Google this scientific <laughs> diagram. <laughs> then you'll know everything. I was thinking he'd, he'd be the, he'd be the like uh, sort of guy that would come on here, and his defense would be like just reiterating what he had said in the videos. He, there was a defense, didn't he? Release some sort of a statement? A no, letter? no, did he didn't. How yeah, many he, subscribers no, did he, he have? Did. He, he, I know. I think he, he did five hundred k. The sad like thing that. is too. Uh, he did the he does uh, a cappella versions of like actual songs that like covers where he does a little mosaic of his videos where he sings different parts of uh, a song yeah. and a cappella. And it's the exact same thing a bunch of other YouTubers to do too. Like smooth and the groove, that kind of exactly, thing. Exactly, yeah. And he seems to be a cool guy. Yeah. It's sad that this guy would drag that shit through the mud. But yeah. here's his official statement. To my, to my friends, fans, and family, I wanted to explain why I've been off of social media and I've taken a break <laughs> from my music. I've been in therapy seeking to help discover why I communicated with my fans in a way that I have come to fully realize was inappropriate. I'd have conversations <laughs> online with girls that would involve me asking asking them to create a video of themselves twerking. Sometimes I'd make videos of myself doing some twerk moves in return. <laughs> He like he fell true. into the conversation. Yeah, it, like he's what, like what's promoting going on it. Over here? You can check out my twerking videos at my second channel. <laughs> what an apology! <laughs> his, his official statement has clicked here's, the link in the description written in it. Link, link in bio, merchant bio. <laughs> Smash that like button. Smash. I never asked them to do anything more than send a twerking video. Nothing ever went beyond that. <laughs> and I guess clapping and butthole flexing. But yeah, that's part of twerking. It's, cool. it's, all, it's all part of the process. <laughs> I see Beyonce doing that shit. 
It's just yeah, dancing. Ariana Grande on stage. It's like capoeira. It looks like fighting, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. And apparently, he did this just to dozens of girls. God, what a what a genuine fuck fucked you, up Austin piece of Jones. Shit. Yeah, 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 seriously. For real. God. Uh, now I'm gonna, cool. you know, I think I'm gonna go to his videos and dislike them. You know, it's oh. a harsh punishment. No, 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 it's a, no, no, it's a lot, good, I know, well. but I'm sorry. I gotta smash gonna, that gonna, dislike button. You gonna give him that old Keemstar treatment? Oh, yeah. I mean, he deserves it. Like, Keemstar is debatable, depends on your views, but this guy, I just, I'm feeling that dislike button, you know? When the buttholes get involved, that's when I get serious. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie fights button. for the buttholes. You know, I wasn't I wasn't sure he was committing pedophilia, but then when she started screaming, I'm 14, this ass is 14, I made my decision. <laughs> you forgot, yeah, this ass is only 14. <laughs> I was okay with I was up with him until the butthole flexing, but then the 14 really really cut me loose. Well, you know, that's when I went over the edge. One of our uh Twitch mods is very closely involved with the law with his own run-ins, so he pointed out correctly that this is technically not pedophilia, it's hebophilia, because they, they're past puberty. But still creepy enough for him to get arrested, I guess, thankfully. Yeah. Well, it's still illegal enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd hope so. Uh, it also reminds me, uh, when you said fuck Austin Jones, I also want to extend a big fuck you to Josh Peck from the Drake and Josh duo. I don't know if you guys Why? follow that drama. Is he also a pedophile? Wait, what up. did Josh do? Wait, what uh, did, I thought Josh was the good one. That's what I thought too, but new reports from official people on the inside circle have reported to me that Josh Peck didn't invite Drake Bell to his own wedding. That's well, what they really told me is up. he did not come on our podcast. Yeah, no, I mean, fuck Josh that. Peck still because he ignored me when I asked him to come on the podcast too. So Josh, if you're yeah. listening to this, you're not even welcome to come on and defend yourself. I hate you, We're just going to get your lookalike, JonTron. <laughs> is it because of all those videos Drake Bell sent him of him spreading his ass and saying this ass is only 14 years old? <laughs> Wait, should do Josh that Peck is getting married? Well, he got married and married, Drake wasn't yeah. invited. To Miranda Damn. Cosgrove of all people. Damn. You weren't invited what? either, Jack? Wait, what? Miranda, really? Wait, what? Uh, I, I don't know. No, no he, he was kidding. He was oh, kidding. thank fucking God. Oh. Oh. Isn't she still 14? I thought, he, I thought he was getting School of Rock up in oh. this. Goddamn. I got what everyone is- all energized. <laughs> nice, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Like you just modeled all of our fucking childhood uh, series together. They That's were in the same series. Fiction. Yeah, yeah that exactly. Was, yeah. They, she was like his little younger sister at like age five, and that would have made for awful and fan fiction. She was like, and 14. she was iCarly. She was not fourteen, and she Josh was not Drake, fourteen. She was like eight at the most. She was fourteen and uh, iCarly. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting new reports from official Intel squad at the HQ that Miranda Cosgro- Cosgrove Cosgrove was also was also not invited to uh, Dre- or <gasps> what, Josh Dick's oh. wedding. Okay, yeah, I wasn't Josh with you at the start for the Drake thing, but no, he dissed yeah. my girl Miranda. Fuck oh, Josh Dick. Yeah, yeah for real, that's just ridiculous. What a loser! <laughs> and Paige O'Brien, whoever she is, his new wife. Yeah, fuck That's Paige. Yeah, Josh Peck, you know, you seem to have shed a bunch of pounds in recent years, but I also think you shed some humanity, dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that's no, the real yeah. true true right there. There it is. That's too real. Now he has to come on and defend himself. Exactly. <laughs> Let's do a super episode where we invite him and Drake Bell on at the same time. A therapy Ooh. session. And don't tell them. Yeah, like Maury Povich. Well, fucking yeah. Jerry Springer there. Yeah, Jerry Springer. Hell yeah. All, All right. right, everyone... Shut oh, up. Shut, that, shut that the was fuck beautiful. up. Hey, I cannot shut up. Andrew, I'm hungry. What do I do? You're hungry? Yeah, Kaya, I'm parched. I'm well, starving. Kaya, let me ask you, give me a quick rundown. Give me a quick rundown of what's in your kitchen. Give me the utensils, the, the food, the oh, ingredients, nothing, everything. What's in there? Andrew. Yeah, you know exactly. me, man. I'm, I'm poor. There's nothing in my fridge, bro, besides corpses. What? Ex- ex- <laughs> exactly. There's nothing that's going to be in your kitchen that's more important than perhaps that one thing sitting in the corner, that uh, that old trustworthy blue apron. But it's not a physical, oh. real Blue Apron. It's a metaphorical Blue Apron, as in blueapron.com slash official. Kaya, tell the <gasps> folks at home what blueapron.com is. Blueapron.com saved me in a dark time of my life, man. So you go to blueapron.com slash official, and you get to order three free meals. So how what does Blue Apron exactly do? They take fresh ingredients from farmers and all good folks all over America, and they package them up, and they send them to your doorstep, so you have fresh ingredients in a box with a recipe, so you can make your own meals. This is 
less than 10 bucks per person per serving. So it's pretty much cheaper than most fast food you could order these days. And it's uh, healthy. You know what's in it. You prepare it yourself so you get to be proud of what you do. It's more fun. It's more, uh, you know, healthier, obviously. You know what's in it. And am I forgetting Kaya. anything, Andrew? Is it this awesome? Kaya, Kaya the, I mean, you might have mentioned it already, but I listen, I'm a lazy man. I'm a very lazy man. I, I, I like to take the mm-hmm. easy way out and do the lazy thing. Blue Apron delivers to your door. It does. Right it to your delivers door. to your That's door it. with the recipe, mind you. All the ingredients you need to make a meal to your doorstep with the recipe that you can prepare under 40 minutes. You might be thinking, well, I'm, I don't want to stand there. I'm not Martha Stewart. I don't want to make food for like three hours sitting in front of a stove. What am I, a mom of five? No, <laughs> doesn't have to be. 40 minutes is all you need. It's guaranteed. Now, Anyone Kaya, can make this. You don't even have to know how to cook. Kaya, look, the problem The problem for some people are thinking, though, they go, listen, I have money, but I'm really stingy, not stingy on spending my money. The thing is, folks... You can have free money at one point. How? If you use that link that we shouted like Neanderthals earlier, blueapron.com slash official, get that loud and clear, blueapron.com slash official, you will get your first three meals free. That is three different times in your life, three maybe three times in the same day, maybe three different days once that you will eat absolutely free, no money cost to you by using the link blueapron.com slash official. No risk, free money. No one exactly. gets a deal like that. Why not? Other really? than our awesome listeners, make that food. Make make your family proud. Make some damn. And good then food. make food for your family because you're getting plenty of meals with this bargain. Hey, we're not judging. Maybe if you want to make it all for yourself and eat it all for yourself and hog it all, <laughs> yeah, hey, go nuts. I mean, it's, whatever, it's your man. food and it's free. No one's going to judge you. They drop the box off and it's they say food. goodbye. It's your food. A man is entitled to the sweat of his brow. If you make that food, you you're entitled to keep it. You don't have to hand it out to anyone, man. We're not communists. Blueapron.com slash official. Check it out. It's free. Food. So speaking of uh, celebrities doing bad shit and saying things, did you guys see Cosby screaming fat Albert? Yep. Hey, hey, yeah. hey. That, was, that is my favorite thing that's happened all month. <laughs> Wait, what, it, what so Jackson, to inform you and the unenlightened viewers, after the second day of deliberations for Cosby's trial, he was being led out of the court by his lawyer and like a couple cops. And there was, of course, like a huge mob story. of... Uh, I- a bit. The, then again, I guess everyone knows at this point Bill, Bill Cosby's rape allegations. Yeah, everyone knows that part. Uh, so he's being let out for the trial, and there was like a huge mob of press behind like the press wall and all that, and they were screaming like, Mr. Cosby, Mr. Cosby. So his response to all this was as he's walking to crank his head towards the sky and go, hey, 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 and then keep walking <laughs> <laughs> as loud as he could in the Fat Albert voice. And you then know, America so- forgave him. Oh my no, no, God. for real. And, and then there was a solid, like, like a, you could taste it, like a two-second silence. not Like, literally two full seconds of just everyone not saying a fucking word after he did that. It was Bill amazing. Cosby is a lot of things, but one thing he is not is a bad Fat Albert. That man has still got the, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. the fucking pipes for I, I, Fat Albert. I feel like he's playing, like, fourth-dimensional chess at this point. Like, this is his strategy, and it's going to pay off and get him off of all charges because of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the jurors are now swayed. If only OJ did that us. when he was convicted. <laughs> <laughs> if only everyone did it. <laughs> yeah, OJ during his trial should have started quoting Naked Gun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I would have forgave him. Naked Gun's great. <laughs> Just yeah, sitcom catchphrases kinda, to get out of it, situations. It kind of sucks when you watch Naked Gun because those movies are hilarious and amazing, but there's that thought in the back of your mind where you're just like, this guy killed a man. <laughs> this guy killed his wife. Possibly. Yeah. Allegedly. This guy led a police chase. This guy used to be a football player. This guy allegedly raped 50 women. <laughs> was it 50? I don't know, but it was a lot. I, I mean, regardless of how you feel on OJ, he must have like, kept a ledger. Regardless of how you feel on him, there's the debate of did he do it, did he not, whatever. That's a whole discussion. We don't need to get into it. The thing that always makes me laugh, the, the thing that always makes me laugh is however many years down the road, he went, you know what the best idea for my career is now? I'm going to write a book called If I Did It, where I detail excruciatingly well what would have happened if I committed these crimes. (laughs) What what testicles, what brass balls on that man. But is he still alive? What is he doing? No, he's he's, he's in jail. He went and like robbed a hotel for his uh, memorabilia for when he played in the NFL. (laughs) He's on that celebrity death spiral. He's probably going to die of like a drug overdose in his 50s or something. I'm surprised he hasn't already. I'm surprised he didn't commit suicide like shortly after that whole. Uh, It's coming. I I guarantee you he's going to die like prematurely. 
I guarantee it. Rest in peace, we don't deserve him. <laughs> I just want to know what's going to happen to Carlson. Allegedly. If he's guilty, then rotten hell. But if he's not, rest in peace. I oh, I mean, it, okay, whether or not he's guilty of OG? killing the killing the woman, it, he's guilty of trying to rob <laughs> yeah. and kill the man who had his sports memorabilia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Fair I enough. I mean, yeah, he is, well, not officially, but that's like the biggest uh, common culture farce in history as to how just he got off. But I just want to see where Cosby is going to go with his little fat Albert's court case. <laughs> Apparently, last time I checked it, there's like, it's a 70-30 split where 70% say guilty and 30% of the jury, jury say not guilty. So who knows? Uh, on Cosby? Yeah, currently. Yeah, I mean, I could, it, it could be updated, to be I could be wrong. mistrial now, but <laughs> they said they would have to do it again. Mm-hmm. Th- that brings me to again. an interesting question for Sean. Is there has there ever been a trial like that in Ireland that you can think of that got like your whole nation's attention? You know, is there like a split decision? Is, did he do it? Did he not? Yeah, did you ever get any allegations? <laughs> no, we, we don't um, rape and kill people as much as you guys seem to do. Um, the, the most that happens. That's a goddamn to us is like, lie. I'll rape and kill you for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all about politicians getting in trouble, or like realtors or bankers or something. It's like nothing. Nothing that juicy ever happens over this side of the world. No. You you guys love your court cases. You guys love going to court and jail and lawyers and all that shit. <laughs> we well, love Sean, going to jail, uh, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a good follow-up then. <laughs> so so disregarding like things of that nature, what would you say was the last big sensation Ireland had? The last big thing that really just sweeped your from whole you. country. Conor McGregor. I'll yeah, I was going. To, I was going to say me. That that was my go-to. <laughs> <laughs> you had the index card ready to go. No, it probably it probably is Conor McGregor actually. Yeah, he just got a statue made, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so, in line with fans and also myself, who is Conor McGregor? He is an what? MMA fighter, and he fucking, not- he's he's a fair bite. Oh, yeah. Th- okay, yeah. I I blanked. I know who you're is talking it, about now. Is it MMA that he's in? I'm a yeah, fake yeah. fan. <laughs> yeah, it's MMA. You got it. <laughs> and he had a child, and now he's going to fight Mayweather. That's that's yeah, going to be right, really disappointing. Right. Of course Why? it is. <laughs> Why disappointing? Because Mayweather is by far probably the most talented fighter to ever exist, at least in the boxing realm. McGregor really probably won't even land a punch on him. He's just the best defensive fighter you could possibly imagine. He'd be like going into oh, yeah, I mean, into like a like a Madden game and creating a ninety nine in everything character and just making him unbeatable. He's the real life video game. When, character when was the last time he fought properly, though? He's, he's forty fought, years old. He's he's yeah he's an old Floyd guy. Floyd Mayweather's but, forty fucking years old, and uh, yeah. Colin McGregor's only twenty eight. It doesn't matter. He his last fight was like twelve months ago, I think, but. It doesn't oh. matter. He's just way too good at being a defensive fighter. No it's one can ever... the buttload of money they're gonna make from that fight. 80 million each. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh my god. We're when in the it, wrong business. When it was Mayweather and Pacquiao, that fucking disappointing snore fest, they made fifty mil, or a million a minute, and I think they both pocketed over 60. <laughs> good Jesus. God, I'd... Jesus, I, I'd have someone punch me in the face for a million a minute. Oh, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't let. Not Floyd if it's Mayweather. Mayweather you yeah. wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't let that man tickle my scrotum. Those hands are going to be so rugged and just brute force. I mean, if I was trained enough, like to at least survive the match, if they told me, you know what, you're going to be a little, you're going to need recovery for like two years, but you're also you're going to be set for life. If I could train my brain to not turn off when he hit me, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I'd run around the ring, go into a fetal position, just be a little bitch, and then to still get my money, I don't care. I would. I <laughs> wouldn't even go in there if they offered me full medieval night gear i don't think i'd still i don't think i'd survive <laughs> it just dents it <laughs> yeah <laughs> no i'd do it and then at the end i'd yell like adrian i did it you just yell hey 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 <laughs> <laughs> just ask mayweather to spread his asshole for you <laughs> <laughs> uh. fantastic <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens to Klitschko brothers? I, I don't ever hear about them anymore. Oh, yeah. I think one of them retired. Yeah, one of them w- went into politics, I know that, but yeah. I don't know what the fuck the other one did. Probably still just being scary somewhere, just not in the, not in the <laughs> ring. I don't think they could even get a job in America because they're the European style boxers where it's uh, like slow and like more strategic. 
yeah. rather than animalistic. You well, mean not Floyd, getting a job as a boxer? Because I feel like if they're talented enough, they'd absolutely be able to. No, it, no, Andrew, the thing is, people. some people get angry at them because they made boxing, quote, boring. Because, you know, when, when you say boxing, people like to think of shit like Mike Tyson, you know, beating the shit That's out of someone, not anymore, throwing though. like five punches a minute and biting the person's ear off. Well, back then, but oh, like yeah. 10 years ago, right? And then uh, Klitschko brothers came along and... For those who don't know, these the Klitschko brothers, they're both the heavyweight world champions because they're just such huge fucking bears that they have a huge arm span where they can basically keep their opponents at a distance and then slowly basically just keep tapping them in the face. And that's just how they wear them down. Their opponents usually don't even get a single punch in. Mayweather does the same thing at a lower weight division. He's just very defensive. He'll dodge all the punches, brush him off, and then just jab real quick back at him. He has a really long wingspan. <laughs> yeah, t- see, they should just face off. I thought it was adorable that the Klitschko brothers apparently agreed that they would never fight in the same federation, so they wouldn't have to fight against one another. Apparently they promised their moms. I was that's literally adorable. about to say it probably upset their mother. Yeah, that's adorable. That's so cute. Poor Martha. <laughs> Why would you say that name? How do you know that uh, name? <laughs> <laughs> it just they beat each other senseless into amnesia almost, and then Martha just triggers all the childhood memories. You're my brother. <laughs> well, let's go fight Doomsday. If they ever have to fight, as soon as the bell rings, they just hug it out. Mayweather is Doomsday. They slowly embrace in the middle of the ring. That's what they should do. Agree to like a million a minute and then just hug for like five minutes. <laughs> I wish they just did like realistic pro wrestling where just Mayweather versus the Klitschko brothers tapping in and out and actually trying to hurt each other. That would be cool. <laughs> I wish more things were like worldwide or WWE. I, I yeah. would love that. I love oh, how yeah. goofy that shit gets. I love the whole drama around it. God, it's oh, cute. That's a good topic. You, so, Charlie, we both know we were into that. Any of you other guys follow, like, old school wrestling, like Attitude Era and all that Not shit? Uh, back then? I, I, uh, when Ka- when Kane and Undertaker came around is when I last watched anything like that. <laughs> yeah, so Canadian he, Undertaker. Well, wait, the Undertaker started in, like, the 80s. No, he doesn't. Well, He's talking about, you're talking about the modern Undertaker, right? I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, no, he didn't back, start in the 80s. Back when the game started coming out, like, old original PlayStation era. Yeah, that's that's right around when I stopped we're, watching. We're talking as well. about the same Undertaker, right? The guy who at one point was Gain's, Kane's brother, and he's super yeah. tall and has the weird beard. I'm pretty sure. What yeah, the he fuck started do you mean in one, he started what do you mean at in one point was Kane's brother. He's always been Kane's brother. That is Kane's he, brother. God damn it! Well, You'll actually, no, otherwise. he's only that for the story. But also, he started wrestling in 1984. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that. don't forget he was. Yeah, a and cool then he took a break, a and then he came back. Yeah, that man must be 80 years old, dude. He's one of the oldest wrestlers still wrestling. Yeah. Oh yeah, he only he only came back as he stopped being the Undertaker for a few years, and then he came back in two thousand four as the Undertaker. But he, was he he's, always called the Undertaker? Yeah, he oh. was the whole the whole shtick with him was that uh, no one ever beat him at WrestleMania. I think it was where like yeah. the whole well, thing yeah, was he was he, always the main event at WrestleMania, and no one ever beat him, and that was his whole thing. It's because he used to just resurrect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking cheating. Bullshit. Yeah. I'm calling bullshit. Sean's still angry about WrestleMania 5. <laughs> Fuck that shit. They hired a goddamn zombie. This is bullshit. <laughs> well, speaking of, the, speaking of the impossible wins, you guys remember Goldberg? And how oh, he would just I, never lose? Goldberg was I, the fucking man. I loved Goldberg. God, Dude. it was so cool. He'd come out into the ring in the fucking sparks and everyone would be going, Goldberg. Gold. It was so great. I do loved remember, being a kid and watching Do you remember that shit. Uh, Nature Boy Ric Flair? Woo! 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 Man, the man whose bones crumbled to dust after every match. <laughs> yeah. Guy was, was just... fucking wrestling into his 60s. <laughs> yeah. He was fucking senile for like the last 12 years. <laughs> oh, man. Aww. So who who was all your favorites? And then my favorite was Kane, and probably Kane. it was Same. Robbie. Kane like was they, my they fucked him up later in the career, like when he became business Kane and unmasked Kane and all this weird shit. But original yeah. big red machine Kane yeah. was so fucking cool. That was a scary dude. He was he like was. Fucking was, nineteen yeah. feet he was tall. Fucking good, frightening. Oh my god. Night, nightmare fuel. I'd yeah. always play as him in the game as well because I watched his like, uh, no horror movie, him. See No Evil. It was okay. Have you guys oh, seen that no, movie? Don't, don't ruin the lore. <laughs> no. 
Well, the they, they only made it apparently because uh, he was like, I want to murder people in a movie. <laughs> so they made a they made a oh. horror movie where he was the monster, and it was it wasn't that bad. It was it was kind of whatever, but it was an okay movie. The, uh, but the, the part but the executive's too scared to like decline him the offer or some shit. <laughs> he just walked in the <laughs> office and folded his arms as they were thinking about it. After the fireworks blew up entering the door. <laughs> up a chair. And you just hear over the PA you hear over the PA system in the office. <laughs> I, I love the idea of him coming the night before just to set up the pyrotechnics. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about entrance, man. There's a power move and a half. So, so who are other some some other great names in that? We got of course, no, like, of course, the sailing, Rock, who's still big today. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve mm -hmm. Austin was the man. I still think probably contender for the greatest match of all time in the WWE is Stone Cold versus Booker T in the supermarket. You guys remember that? No. Oh man, Refresh they had, they had a uh, they had like a like a no holes bar anywhere match where it was like that was when they go they'd leave the stage and go backstage or go to like the outside of the arena or the nearby hot dog stand or whatever there was a match where booker t fought stone cold steve austin in a rented out grocery store and the entire time stone cold's just beating him with like pizzas and jugs of milk and shit <laughs> and by the end of it they're like covered in flour and turkey legs and all the shit and the funniest part is there's this shot of booker t like sweating and passed out and panting and like falling over himself and then the camera pans to the end of the aisle and stone cold's just stealing beer and drinking it on the spot <laughs> but if you can find it watch it it's probably my favorite wrestling match of all time it's really good there's there's a part where he takes him to like the meats to like throw them into a freezer and as soon as it happens like jr goes not the produce section and it's just so, it's so it's quality wrestling it's one of the finest things they've ever done J, jr is probably the finest announcer in all of sports didn't didn't he die or something didn't one of them die don't, don't tell me well maybe in the wrestling lore but don't tell me in real life <laughs> yeah no that, it's a chain choke slammed him out of existence <laughs> well i mean story he can resurrect what about a uh, mick foley mankind Mankind McFoley, he's a classic. Oh, I like he Kaya's answer was good. Do you guys know about smooth sailing Ashley Remington? No, who's that? <laughs> yeah, who's that? The guy Charlie and I went on a rest like indie oh, right, wrestling yeah. binge uh, for a while in the sky. They were wrestling in like a high school gym. And the guy he was wrestling some, I don't know, juggalo, I guess, some fat ass. Scare man. His name was Scarecrow. He <laughs> Glad you <laughs> remember right. that. <laughs> it was a great match. That's the contender for my favorite wrestling match. Episode 13, yeah. And Ashley, he, he had on this little uh, bathing suit, little, not even, right? He had a little... Yeah, it was a, it was uh, a Speedo. Speedo. It's basically. like a, yeah. the spandex that it, Triple H would wear, stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. in the middle of the match, he started sprouting a chubby and awkwardly <laughs> hiding it. <laughs> like it wasn't <laughs> scripted. Or Talk anything. about smooth <laughs> sailing. It become a different kind of fight. <laughs> no, he, he was fighting him just two awkwardly sitting down on the ropes and should trying to hide it. Yeah, he was fighting two over. opponents at once there. Like he, <laughs> he had to constantly oh keep God. adjusting and like tucking it up. <laughs> he must have been really aroused because when I work out, my dick doesn't get hard. Like it, it, all, it gets small and retracts <laughs> back into my body because the blood is just leaving. For all you'd the probably, you'd and probably shit. get hard if you're getting beaten up, though, Kyle. Well, yeah, by Ruby Rose, not fucking the Scarecrow. <laughs> 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 That's some fucking juggalo with face paints. No. <laughs> so was, was this amateur? or Was this a professional? Chica yeah, Chica amateur. It was. It was from uh, an organization called Chikara. Ah, uh, gotcha. They have a lot of really goofy wrestlers, and uh, from what I heard, Ashley Remington retired, so no more boners in the ring for Chikara, unfortunately. That was his, <laughs> that was his secret move, though. Yeah, that was gave his him power. It was like his Kaioken of wrestling. He would leap up and take him out with a body tackle by shoving his dick down their throat. <laughs> God, rest in peace, Ashley Remington. Whatever you're doing out there, keep sailing smooth, buddy. That, and then we also <laughs> watched uh, Japanese wrestling, where they try to go extreme, where they swallow glass... Light bulbs and all that shit. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? Try to sit on That's top of That's next level. Oh, it's yeah, dope. They, it's they dope. roll around in glass and they take little pins and they basically sit down and pencil needles through each other through windows into barbed wire. Yep. It was cool. It you was ever see cool. the one where um, they take a fucking uh, processor chip with all the pins in it? And they put it on this bald dude's head and then slam it into his skull. <laughs> uh, I think. <laughs> and it just sits there like they installed it on a CPU. <laughs> it's really entertaining. <laughs> I, mean, I remember the one where they, 
one of them takes a handful of chopsticks and shoves them into one guy's brain. Oh, I remember that. I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. That was big Some over here. Shit. It was called Combat Zone Wrestling CZW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, CCW. I still, they had a video game <laughs> called Backyard Wrestling. I fucked with that real hard. Guys, I, um, I have an, I have an update on, uh, the Drake Bell, Josh Peck thing, kind of oh. related. So Amanda Bynes apparently sent out a tweet at some point and it's at Drake, but it might be, she meant to do it to Drake Bell. And it says, I want Drake to murder my vagina. Really? Yeah. Uh Oh, that's an interesting Trouble development. In paradise. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. I mean, in her defense, who doesn't? <laughs> I'm into Josh Peck. Oh, I man. was until uh, till this yeah. recent discovery here. He's really lost yeah. a lot of goodwill. I don't know, man. The lust is still there. <laughs> the morals <laughs> are gone, but I can't quell this hunger. Just like yeah. smooth sailing. Can't just turn it off. I want what's some his, of that peck. What's his name? Smooth sailing what? Ashley, Ashley Remington. Remington. Ashley Remington. Yeah. <laughs> he's like pull, he's pulling a Remington right now. The fight's going on, but he's <laughs> he's got something else in mind. No. Also, oh, Amanda Bynes is still alive? Yeah, she's, uh, against all the odds, she's managed to make it this far. Good for you, Amanda Bynes. She's only- how many times has she shaved her head now? I think she's on her third, right? <laughs> oh, is that the lady that came back like, I'm not addicted anymore? You ever notice that, that's yeah. the go-to move for, like, popular women who have either a breakdown or try to have a forced renaissance? Their first oh, go-to yeah. thing is shave your head. Emma Watson. Britney Emma Spears. Watson, Miley Spears. Cyrus. Uh, who's- Katy Perry did it. Katy Perry's uh, going through it right now. Katy Perry <laughs> yeah. literally just did it. Yeah, it's Bruce their whole Willis. thing. I mean, didn't Katy Perry do it because <laughs> she had she did some hairstyle and then some people bitched at her and she was like, "I'm so sorry, I culturally appropriated y'all, so I'm gonna wear this Nazi hairstyle now." What? I don't. I don't know. She didn't have I don't know. She did like an hour therapy session and live streamed it, and then Ugh. said that she changed her hair because she wanted to be Catherine and not Katy or something like that. Catherine. Who's Catherine? Oh, is that the religious one? No, she's a famous uh, wrestler. Uh, right. Yeah. Catherine Von Stees. <laughs> Catherine Goldberg. <laughs> Her alter ego. <laughs> the religious nun. Stone Cold Steve Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, apparently, um, speaking to that guy, I think Stone Cold Steve Austin has a really <clears throat> successful podcast now. He does. Yep. Yeah, he, I've always he wanted to check it out. Steve, he was always come a really likable dude, so... Yeah, come on here. Yeah. We can well, I mean, the, the dude here. had the easiest fucking hype sessions ever. All he would do is go out and drink a beer, and if the audience wasn't feeling the beer, he'd just interrupt any, everyone with, What? What? I Remember loved that shit? I, I loved when he came on, because someone would toss him two beers, he'd slap them together, and then just grease himself down like a pig with the beer. I, I always thought that the people who tossed him beers were the fans. I so did too. I, I was expecting at some point fans just to be pelting him with beer cans towards the end of his career. Don't ruin the magic. <laughs> it was what? all his fans. It's magic. Yeah, he I, I, like, the beers. I like when superstars do that with their fans, not the other stuff, not the butthole spreading. Yeah. Come here, come on, come on the podcast, Steve. We have drunk casts. <laughs> we'll slap beers together for you, Steve. Yeah, man. <laughs> Make those beers clap. <laughs> I have a hairy chest too, so it'll soak up the first few cans. I'm sure that's what he's concerned about, Kai, whether or not you get <laughs> <Yeah>. sticky. <laughs> <laughs> that is sealed the deal. <laughs> I'll probably give my chest a nice little coating, make it smooth and shiny. <laughs> hey, Jack, which which celebrities have you met? met? All of them. <laughs> Every he's single with, one of them. Wrestled with them all. <laughs> he's wrestled with the greats, tussled with titans. I don't know if you guys know, I met this dude called Markiplier. Who? Oh. Who's that? Oh. If he's not been on our show, he's not a person. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Only people who've come on this show are official people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm an official person then. You're a twice certified official person. You're like yeah. a, we're like the Red Cross of issuing out official certificates. You just renewed. Fuck yeah, Sean, dude. I hope you feel special. You're in a club of literally yourself and one other person currently. Alex? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You two really? are the only repeat visitors so Wait, far. Wait, no. Ray was in two episodes, but he only. I don't count the yeah. continuations. You know what yeah, I mean? I don't count. Yeah. It. He basically just didn't want to leave. I mean, we had to ask him to leave. Basically, Cause, that's cause how much technically he liked the Alex is in the three for club, and that just puts him way far ahead. Yeah, that's not yeah. fair. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a title no one's taken. So yeah, anyway, uh, you, you tell <laughs> Mark Plow to come on. That's a championship championship they, belt no they one's give wearing. Us a, they give us a shot the first time, and then the second time they confirm they don't want to be on again. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's the moment of yeah yep, that, that's, yep, that's, that's the real me. reason it's not because it's super prestigious <laughs> everyone's like fuck I'm not doing that again <laughs> you know, it says maybe a lot about be, me doesn't it maybe it won't be that bad oh it is oh, <laughs> damn just like I remembered <laughs> <laughs> oh that's sad it's maybe sad now <laughs> I mean for you know for as much shit as we talk on this podcast we have not gotten anyone into trouble I think that's impressive. Like well, how would we get YouTube people is- into trouble? What the fuck are you talking know, about? Then- In the second episode, we destroyed another <laughs> podcast by accident. <laughs> by no, accident. Okay. No, right. I mean our own guests, like people we like. I, like oh. We have them on, and usually on YouTube, the way drama works is they say hi, and then Polygon writes an article saying they're a Nazi. That has never happened to any of our guests, so we're doing something right. It's a good point. He's not wrong. That's, That's a decent true. topic. Do you guys follow like any game journalist websites or any of that anymore? Oh God, no! Don't get me started. I used to back in the day, but it's just such a cesspool of needing to make content at this point that it uh, fucking. I can it's a cesspool of people putting their own like. Opinions. Did you see the Political screenshot where above I know they're like the lowest of the low, but Kotaku they when Final Fantasy, I think it was fifteen, some game like that came out. It it had always online. It might not have been mm-hmm. that one, but it was some big SimCity. RPG. Yeah. And and the the article they published it when it came out was SimCity is always online and here's why that's a good thing and it goes on and on and on and then literally a week later they publish a different article that says SimCity's online needs to be stopped. No, yeah, just they are atrocious. There's absolutely no difference anymore between you know how we always used to make fun of Tumblr. Tumblr would be the go to well, almost did. the straw man. Like no, mm-hmm. but. Five years ago, it really used to be quarantined only to Tumblr. You'd go there to make fun of the crazies. And now it's all of them. They spread out to Kotaku, Polygon, the whole gaming community. It's upsetting. And also, Andrew, when you said that title, it made me internally cringe because I hate that title grammar structure where it goes, here is this news, and here's why we're telling you it's bad. The one that always gets to me, and I can't believe people still do it, is number six will surprise you. Or you want no, to leave number two. That like, trend I, is I, over. I, now I, it's No, they uh, still do it. I still see it plenty of places. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. Oh, Christ. Like, I get, I just, like, uh, list articles if, like, the article is mm-hmm. a list. Like, oh, top ten reasons we like this game. Fine, whatever. Top ten reasons my butthole is itchy. Like, whatever. But the, why do you need to tack on the, you won't believe number four? It's like I'm clicking the article to read the It numbers. does the opposite to me. Whenever I see that, no, I, like, avoid those. I, yeah. I never click on anything. It's because you're a sane person. It's aggravating. Yeah. It's aggravating. I, I just get angry when the title is telling to manipulate me rather than what I, to I, I, think. I really don't get how clickbait's still successful. Like, it's probably the most uniformly Grandmas. hated thing. Kids. No. Kids, probably, yeah, that's a good point. It isn't, though. It's not the clickbait itself. It's that you're trying to hit a certain uh, demographic there. Like, people who already are likely to click it. Like, I, I, I don't know. Tell me a game that has, like, a rabid uh, community. Or just an easier Skyrim. example, just... Oh, yeah, Skyrim, whatever. Like, Skyrim VR is out, and here's why that's the best thing ever. Or they do it with politics, it's super easy, right? A, a Trump supporter saved a kitty out of a burning building, and here's why that's racist. And of course, then they're Fake gonna news. click that, and it's I so believe fucking that. Fake easy. News. Oh. Well, that's the thing, is that it starts off working, and then you've done it so often that you become that. It's the same with all these YouTubers who start off clickbaiting. It's like world's biggest <laughs> oh, fun yeah. GTA Five a, map. Yeah, that's and a then good it just, three AM. You just morph into that because that's all you get your views from anymore. If you change it, then no one watches. Yeah, I've, like always the GTA wanted, uh, I've always wanted to inspect those like algorithms and all those people. I always watch those and I just I concentrate real hard thinking who's watching these. Because the only people I interact with, well, no, the only people I ever see or interact with in my life are the ones who are like, oh, I don't watch this clickbait shit. I don't get into this. But then I think, well, okay, who is giving them these numbers? What yeah. culture is this? Well, what's, Literally 12 year olds. Yeah, like, like what's in high school and yeah, like what's school, nuts and you go and, is uh, we're like, like it or not, everyone in here right now, except Jackson, he's on the lower end. We're all getting <laughs> past this point where 
We don't Wait, understand what? the generation yeah. that's coming now. <laughs> no, he's completely right. We're in in what? some way we're getting old, especially with how quickly. No, I know, Charlie, but what, I, yeah. I don't know why you just chucked Jackson. Out of the bus you're two like years he's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> like Jackson. he's the child at the Thanksgiving. Yeah, kids okay, table. act Three out like a little a child, Char- Jackson. Come on, be <laughs> mature. Yeah, like, yeah, Jackson still clicks the videos at the 3 a.m. title shit, but we don't. <laughs> I bet Jackson watches fidget spinner videos. Jackson Jackson watched Charlie's 3 a.m. fidget spinner video and was genuinely concerned he was going to be hurt or something. Oh, I want to I want to point something out real quick since you brought that up. The amount of comments from people saying it's not 3 a.m. You fucking liar! The lights coming in is alarming. <laughs> it makes me so sad. I saw that oh. and I almost said something to you. I clicked on on at least a good 40 percent of those. I've clicked on the people's channels that set them. That, there's nothing I can find on them, but it just makes me so unbelievably sad in the future. Sean, that is, I'm that sorry is about the, sending that to you. That is the one fucking thing I actually want to talk about. I'm glad you reminded me. The, I've, I've found lately the only thing that actually really infuriates me and upsets me now is when people don't get your joke and assume you're stupid for it. Oh, it's the worst. It, it's the one I thing because you can't even reply to them. Like, what do you say? It's they not even a joke. It's what upsets me is when they take anything and act like it's the end of the planet. To, uh, exactly. If it's a yeah. joke or not. No one no one can be con- constructive anymore. If you make like a bad video or something they don't find funny, they have to say, wow, this was fucking bullshit and you suck dick and you're terrible at this. Kill yourself. Like, okay, well, that's good to know. I, Thanks. I, I, Sean, thank Sean you. you don't know, but this leads to internal drama even in our group. <laughs> <laughs> with, with me, like I had a fucking meltdown the other day. <laughs> this fucking upsets me at this point. Sean, what's like the dumbest piece of anger you've ever gotten? Oh, like not Jesus. legitimate, like, I'm not talking about something like where even later on you maybe thought, you know what, maybe they did have a point. Like something legitimately stupid where maybe to this day you still think about it and you, you get angry. Oh, God, that's a good question. Oh, fuck. I wish you came prepared for this now. There's, there's, <laughs> there has to be something that I've gotten so angry over and everyone else is like, you're a fucking idiot. Absolutely. There's something yeah. there. Damn it. There- it's okay. When I come back for my uh, third appearance, I, I let you know. <laughs> Just write them down. I'm coming for Alex's title. <laughs> <laughs> the WrestleMania. He'll have to change his YouTube to just I hate Jacksepticeye. Oh. <laughs> oh, you uh, know, I don't want to talk behind his back, but he's sort of a poser, man. He doesn't hate on anything. What? I like what this. Yeah. That's uh, clickbait. I like this that drama is, dude, right now. He's I'm like challenging, ch- challenging Alex. I, I hate way more than he does. <laughs> Like, I ask him, like, hey, Alex, so what do you actually hate? And he's like, well, nothing really. <laughs> well, what the fuck are you about? <laughs> you fucking blasphemer. <laughs> I love Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're not. A, yeah. I hope Alex doesn't think we're actually shit talking. I, I, oh, no. I, I, I like Alex. Human. He's awesome. <laughs> he's a great human being. I think he can take a joke. He's much funnier yeah. than I am. <laughs> God. That's the other thing. People, that's the other thing. And I'm not, I'm not trying to call out our fans on this, but there are some of you out there and you know who you are who do this. They assume that they know our entire relationship and dynamic from only listening to us for an hour at a time. So oh, if dude. one of us is shitting on someone else or making a joke at someone, they're like, you guys need to back off and not make fun of him. He's obviously really upset. It's like, no, five minutes later, we were just, making I jokes with each other. The you one I hate it. the most is just this weird way of them. I don't know why it's specifically Charlie just assuming he hates us. He does. <laughs> Where like it's like oh I don't yeah. know why Critical hangs out with you losers. You should leave the podcast. And I get that it's this weird fucked up way of them trying to compliment Charlie like hey you're funnier than them, right? But it's like if I saw a pretty girl in a cafe with her mom or something, and I sat next to her and went, "You know you're really beautiful." I look into your eyes and this goblin sitting next to you, she's really ugly. Like how the fuck did she give birth to you? Why are you yeah. even hanging out with your mom? She's it's, so ugly. It's just but so you're insulting. beautiful. Do you like, just want to come with me, baby? Ditch this fucking troll goblin. So, so you looking ass mom? motherfucker. Yeah, I'm I'm the official mom. I would absolutely let Charlie be my mom. Are you kidding? Just I, someone stop complimenting say, him. I was going to say Yeah. Well, that's what happened go. after the episode I was on. Everyone was like, Kaya hates Jack. He <laughs> yeah, hates yeah, there so we go. Like, so uh, mean to him all the time. Oh, oh no. Uh, yeah, uh, Kaya, you bullied Jack. Oh, he really, he was really mean and uh, condescending to... 
as if some guy with fucking 50 million subscribers or whatever could... Yeah, I'm, so, I'm such a small, defenseless little boy. I, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he's gonna cry himself into his pillow because some dork he doesn't know made a joke my for two seconds. My favorites are the ones that are just personal attacks just because people don't find someone funny. Like, I've, I've gotten three different messages or, like, seen comments at this point where it's like, it's obvious that Andrew was just on the podcast because, like, he bullied his way in. Like, no one wants him there. <laughs> yep. That's that's why they invited me. That's why they asked me personally a couple different times if I wanted you're, to be on it. That's it. You're like, he you're like me in Arcane. The we were afraid to say no. <laughs> I walked in with my theme music, kicked on the door. <laughs> it's true. He gave me a wedgie. He said, you put me on the podcast or I'm going to take I, your lunch money. I think Andrew was the first person I asked about the podcast. <laughs> Even <it>? better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even worse, he bullied you first. <laughs> I wanted to say no, but Jackson was like, you're going to do it and you're going to fucking like it. Get on the goddamn podcast. <laughs> A little fun fact about the podcast. Jackson organized the whole thing. Kaya and Andrew had never met before, and Jackson didn't really know Kaya very well either. I think and we had done one thing before that. I think it was an A3 thing. And yet yeah. now Kaya and I are the greatest of friends. But like, I remember still the first day Jackson sending me a message on uh, Steam being going, uh, so you're going to do the podcast with us? And I was like, shit, is this Andrew or that Jackson guy? <laughs> <laughs> and then I showed you my butthole and we were all good. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you, I, you I, sent him a video of your spread anus saying, I'm Jackson, I'm Jackson. Yeah, I recognize him through the, the sonic signature of his butt clap. <laughs> the O in Jackson was his sphincter. You guys have a remarkable chemistry for that kind of interaction. Oh, oh yeah, just, you should that see us sweet. drunk. <laughs> you, you, you should see our Skype vlogs. <laughs> God, no. Re-educated. Kaya, we just cut back in. We have to leave this part in now. Yep. You That's how editing works. Yeah. We only do one cut per episode, and Kaya squandered it. Whole episode has to be scrapped now. Thanks, Kaya. Yeah, thanks. Take it from lot, the top, Kaya. boys. <laughs> Welcome back. Sup, cunts. Uh, welcome to the official <laughs> podcast. All right, that's our new intro, boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm assuming you want us to cut that. No, that's no. Right. Oh, what do you mean? Wait, you wait you're not American. You're allowed to say it. Yeah, we say it all the time. Oh, I'm so no. jealous. Cunt, even in America, you could say, Sean, could you say, uh, buy the shirt, cunt? Give us a sound bite. Hey, <laughs> all you cunts out there, better buy the shirts. <laughs> oh, the perfect uh, merch in bio. Always link in bio every day, bro. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. In the description, we're big enough not to even need a description, but it's in there. Become a maverick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope I don't go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't either, dude. Yeah, I'm on your side, you. Kaya. <laughs> Thank you. Sean's phoning in an anonymous Ka complaint. Ka Kaya, it may be hard to believe, but none of us want you to go to prison. <laughs> no I don't know best. how we're going to segue back into an appropriate topic now. And then I fucked that girl right in the ass. <laughs> Great story, Sean. Anyway. When was the last time you performed anal? Um, uh, the summer of 07, I think. Great year. <laughs> Left such a mark, huh? <laughs> Dude, it was a good year. Good mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nice. Your there's your segue. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Hey, hey, and we're back. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. That's about sucking your own dick. I'd like to thank Sup, Sean cunts. for <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for listening to our pre-approved jokes. <laughs> we hope you come back next week Sean really want to thank you for memorizing you your lines for this episode no problem <laughs> that was it was really hey, great Juxon hey, don't go off book you fuck, fuck. <laughs> my god he's getting out of control he's going rogue I'm, I'm never going to take yeah, Alex's cut title cut at this the feed. Rate. <laughs> quick insult me <laughs> your face sucks people don't know how to pronounce your name Shut yeah up, Kaya, Kaya. Kayla now apparently yeah. <laughs> tell Sean about the uh, incel thing that oh story. that's a long topic too Sean yeah, do you know incels what <laughs> <laughs> alright <laughs> let's save that for your third visit okay <laughs> Yeah. To be continued. <laughs> you know, I, I, we've been sitting here for like an hour now and I haven't heard board burgers and I'm oh, fucking God. pissed 
I heard I mean, it. You were, meant to, you, you were meant to. You were meant to. I'm not the fucking OG of board burgers. There's only one person. You want who can the board burger? Oh, Charlie, boy. you know what? Give him the board burger. Give him the board he, burger. He's Charlie. asking with for ex- the with extra oh. sauce this time. Ooh, he's, girl. Oh, oh, you're asking for the like HD edition for on VR. Charlie, Jesus. Charlie. joke. Charlie, my dick's in my hand now. Give it to I me. I got good. it. If he wants extra sauce, give him the joke, but have it rhyme. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think you can. That's I don't think one. you can do it. I don't think you can do it. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, maybe pussy. No, I'm good at rhyming. Boy. He's he's 19. He's a little bitch. Oh, Tiana bitch. doesn't get to help you. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll try and rhyme it. That can at least put a nice little spin on it. All right. Uh, the board burgers joke. No, she doesn't get to help you. She's not. Yeah. No, she, blindfold her. She couldn't if she wanted to. It's get fine. out. <laughs> get out the house. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. I'm sorry. She's going home. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, driving down I-4, look to the passenger seat. I don't see a whore. I see a blonde girl. <laughs> and tell me that's empty. I'm putting my foot to the pedal. Do you... Ah, shit. Jesus sent me. A nice <laughs> restaurant. Nice. <laughs> with a beautiful sign. With some burgers that appeared to be divine. I said with a <laughs> chuckle and an even little whisper, I said, hey, babe, look where we're going to eat our dinner. <laughs> Boardwalk Burgers, that was the name. Throwing shit on a foreman, that was the game. But I had a, a, a slight feeling the burgers would be lame. So with my quit wick, I let out a joke that would truly slain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn, that was, it was close. We let it, we let it slide. Yeah, we'll, we'll let that one. That would rise to fame. Edit oh, there it you out. go. Fix it. Yeah. I said strike my face. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> and then I told a joke that was really lame. I already said lame. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that did I did I pass? But you didn't. You didn't well, tell. You the didn't punch oh, yeah, you did. You um, did half of it. <laughs> what is this? Is the rest of the LC? How, <laughs> how do we know when to laugh? <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> recenter, recenter. <laughs> How is this so hard? Well, what do you mean? A joke that would. Yeah, to slain. All right, that's where I was at. Joke, to slain, All right, and we let it slide. The burgers <laughs> were juicy. The burgers were scrumptious. A rumbling <laughs> tummy. A rumbling rumpus. <laughs> oh, you fucked you yourself there. You write. fucked yourself into a corner <laughs> there. I'm challenging myself, <laughs> goddammit. I'm like the Edgar Allan Poe. And the, Robert like Frost. Like cells of rhymes. <laughs> the benches were orange and. The 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 burgers seemed like they were tired, but it was my stomach that it desired. And when I said no, the burgers weren't good. The burgers were bored. My car has a hood. <laughs> that was terrible. That was absolutely the worst fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. I had a gr- Damn it! I had a great start though. At least give me that. I had a you good did. start. You did. You came though. out yeah. strong. Yeah. I felt you're, I couldn't think of couldn't think of board. You're like the the distant sprinter who like you had a good start but halfway through you trip during the race. I wanted to make it make sense. I was going to go with I was going to go with sword, but I couldn't think of a way to do that. So I, I just tried to make it make you're sense. You're like if Usain Bolt came out and he like did the first half of the race awesome and then he broke his ankle and fell over and killed himself. Well, that's a bit harsh, but I'll, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> good joke, good joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I, I did Cue it. the sound bite Yay. of buy the shirt cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that in anywhere. There's a dead zone in the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh. right. Good job, Charlie. Yeah, right. Thanks. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm fucking satisfied with it. I thought for, I had a great A for start. effort. A for yeah. effort. Yeah. If or if. At you least tried. you tried. You didn't yeah, pussy out. Exactly. You yeah. you committed. You didn't just go. Ah, I can't think of anything. Ew. You tried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can wrap this up. Is there anything you did want to shout out though, Sean? Like any new projects or anything? Oh, um, like he needs us. The official podcast shirts. I heard yeah, they're yeah. awesome. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah. What, what about those shirts? Please. They are, man. Ooh. I heard. Th- Which one's your favorite? I heard. I heard they're extra moist. <laughs> they yeah. are. They, a bit they, of, yeah, a they bit have, of DNA uh, in every one. Well, we don't want to promote well, I that haven't one. Gone, I haven't done that yet, but... I'm hoping maybe. to get a Kaya next time. <laughs> mm. 
You can get like me. collection cards. It's like, wh- which cast member will you clone today? <laughs> which sperm is this one from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always just mine. <laughs> I fill every vial. <laughs> All he yeah, does I mean, is- I could be a useful kitchen appliance impl- if you buy me. You can, like, grind cheese on my chest and shit. All he does is wring the poster out into a cup. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. All right. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. And a big thanks to Sean, a.k.a. Jack Septiguy, for coming on. Thanks for coming on again, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me. You're always welcome. Thanks. We'll be seeing you for round three, back when we uh, talk about some more serious stuff. <laughs> yeah, and that time, I'm going to come prepare two to roast you, because I didn't know this was supposed to be a match today. Okay. kind of threw a sucker punch at me. Okay. Kind of threw you for a loop there for a while. Yeah, but not too much. I mean, you were, it's not like you were good at it. Oh, 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 oh okay. no. I see sparks. how it is. They fly yeah, in. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Right. So next time Kai is not on the podcast, it's just the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll schedule it for a day where Kai can't come. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way you could win. <laughs> oh, no, the zingers are flying. <laughs> you, you got him. All right. But big thanks nope. to Sean and all the people on Patreon and uh, everyone who watched. Big thank you. And uh, yeah, see you all next time. Later, cunts. Bye-bye.